Number 14, simplify the algebraic expression. You don't want to add or subtract until you get rid of these parentheses, okay? So we're going to rewrite the problem without the parentheses. This polynomial won't change. And I'm going to go ahead and put a 1 here so we won't forget it. 1x to the 5th minus 3x squared minus 2x. This minus is going to distribute in it. So we're going to put a minus here, here, and here. A negative 1 times 7 is a negative 7x squared. The 5 will turn from a positive to a negative, minus 5x, and then plus 9 in it. Now we're going to single underline our x to the 5th. It's the largest exponent. We're going to double underline the x squares. And let's see, we're going to triple underline our 2x's and our 5x and quadruple underline the 9. The only single underline is x to the 5th. I'm going to go ahead and put it here. We don't have to put the 1, do we? The double underlines are 3 and 7, aren't they? Which one's larger? 7 is larger than 3, and it's negative. The negative goes in the answer. The signs are the same, so we'll add. If you combine 3 and 7, you get 10. The letter is x. The exponent's 2. Now I'll go to our triple underlines, 2 and 5. 5 is larger than 2, and it has a minus in front of it. So drop the minus. The signs are the same, so you add and get 7. The letter is x. So we have x to the fifth minus 10x squared minus 7x, and the plus 9 goes at the end. Notice that I put sign, number, letter, exponent, sign, number, letter. Get the sign, get the number, get the sign, get the number. This would be the simplified polynomial.